Hi everyone, welcome to Themes Code. Today in this video, I will show you how to create, update and manage menus on a WordPress website. If you watch this video to the end and learn everything we have covered, you will be able to call yourself a pro when it comes to WordPress menus. I will complete the task in the following four main steps. Step number one, create a new menu. Step number two, add pages to the menu. Step number three, edit and update menu. Step number four, show the menu on the side. First of all, we are going to create this menu. It would be the primary menu of the WordPress website. As you can see, it has several items and a few sub-items under a particular item. We don't have to use any plugin to complete the task. We'll simply create new pages if needed. Then we'll add the pages to a newly created menu. While we are on the back end of our site, let's navigate to pages on the left sidebar. We have the about us page, blog page, the dashboard page, the home page, and the my account page. Let's create the other necessary pages. Let's hit add new. Type services as the title of the new page. Click publish. The page has been created. The same way, let's create the other pages. Now that we have all the necessary pages, let's use them to create the desired menu. Let's navigate to Appearance and then click Menus. You can see that we have no menu at this moment. Let's create one. Then enter the menu name here. Let's name it Main Menu. Now let's choose a location on our site to display the menu. The current theme offers these locations. It can be different in your case based on your WordPress theme. Let's select primary menu as the display location. Now hit create menu at the bottom right corner. Now we have successfully created a menu. However, we need to add items to the menu. Here on the left, you see the Add Menu Items panel. From here, you can add the items. In my case, Pages, Post, Landing Pages, Custom Links, Categories, Tags, and Formats can be added to the menu. In your case, it could be the same or different depending on the WordPress theme and plugins you use. Well, now let's add a few pages to our newly created menu. Let's expand the pages section. Here you see three tabs, most recent, view all, and search. Let's view all the pages. Let's select the pages you want to display on the menu. Now, let's click Add to Menu. The pages have been added to the menu. OK, let me first save the menu. 
and now let's view the menu to do that let's view the home page here is our menu it looks okay except that what line live chat and email should be under contact us let's get to the back end to create a drop down menu let's drag and drop hotline live chat and email under contact us hit save menu button now these items will show up if a visitor hovers on contact us let's view the menu again to check if it is okay now it looks okay even a drop down menu has been created however we are not sure if the items are in the desired order let's take a glance at our target menu well this is the desired order home about us service portfolio blog contact us and my account okay now let's reorder the items and sub items accordingly let's go to the menu settings home about us they are okay drag and drop service over here then portfolio blog blog is okay contact us is okay and then my account so the correct order has been set now click save menu Let's visit the home page in a different tab. Okay, we have completed the design. We want these links to open a new window tabs when clicked. To realize this, let's get back to menus once again. Let's expand about us and the services tab. As you can see, currently there are no such options to open the menu items in separate tabs. To have the option, let's navigate to the upper right corner of the screen and expand screen options. Now, check the box next to link target it's activated let's also activate title attribute now collapse screen options scroll down you can see that the option to open the link in a new tab is available now let's enable the option for all the tabs Now click save menu. Let's visit the home page now. Click any item and it will open in a new tab. Let's go to menus again. Collapse the pages section. Now let's add a menu item by using custom links. Let's the URL be youtube.com slash c slash themes codes. And the link text be tutorials. Now 
click add to menu see the menu item has been added now hit save menu let's visit the home page yes here is the tutorial navigation link let's click it this is my youtube channel you can subscribe to for tutorial videos it has opened in the same tab because we did not set the link to open in a new tab Sometimes we may need to have multiple menus on a single site. So let's use the same procedure depicted above to create another menu. Click create a new menu. Menu name categories. Let's choose footer menu as the display locations. Now click create menu. Let's click the categories tab. Let's select these categories. Click Add to Menu. The items have been added. Now click Save Menu. The second menu has been created on our site. Let's say we want to show the categories menu in the footer. Let's navigate to Appearance, then Wizards. Scroll down. Let's click a footer builder wizard. Now click the plus icon. Type menu in the search box. Click Navigation menu. Let's type the categories menu as the title. Now select the menu which you want to show here. Its categories in this case. Now click update. Let's view the home page now. And here you see the second menu we created a few minutes ago. Well, now let me show you why we created another menu we'll be editing a menu now now that we have two menus we can select one of them to edit whenever you will need to edit a menu just choose the one from here and click select so we'll be editing the main menu now Let's expand about us. You can change the navigation level as known as the link text. We can also set and change the title attribute. Let's put an attribute. Here we describe our activities and vision. You may choose to open the link in the same tab or a new tab. You can move the navigation link on a step downward, under home link, and even to the top. Let's move it on a step down. See the about us link has moved on a step downward. Hit save menu button. Let's see how it affects the view on the home page. See about us was previously in the second position. Now it's in the third position. The title attribute for the link shows up. Here is the name of the original page. You can remove the navigational link by clicking here. If you want to cancel all the edits you did, just click cancel. Now let's collapse the link. Let's remove the portfolio link. First expand it. Then click remove. See the link isn't here anymore. 
hit save menu button It doesn't show on the front end either. If you want to remove multiple links at a time, check the bulk select box. Now check the boxes next to the items you want to remove. Let's select blog and tutorials. Now click remove selected items. The items have been removed. Hit save menu button. The change has been reflected on the home page. The blog and tutorials links are not here anymore. Now we are going to see how to manage locations for menus. Let's switch to the manage locations tab. The menu placement locations may differ from theme to theme. In my case, these are the locations. As you can see in the primary menu location, main menu created by us is placed. And in the footer menu location, the categories menu created by us is located. The other three locations are backend. We can create new menus and place them here. Now let's see how to delete a menu. To do that, let's switch to edit menus. Let's say we want to delete the categories menu, the one we created lately. Let's choose the menu from here and then click select. Now go downwards and click the delete menu link. If it is a confirmation, let's hit OK. The menu has been deleted. Here we have arrived on the setting page. For the other menu, you think you have successfully created a menu, so it should appear at the desired location. However, it may still not if there is a problem with the header builder and footer builder setting. Okay, let me show you what I mean. Let's navigate to customize, click header builder. We are using the Astra theme and it has header and footer builders. The primary menu is set here in the mid row of the header. That's why it shows when we visit the home page. Let's remove the menu from here. So the menu has disappeared from the header. So always make sure that the menu is properly placed in the customization settings. Now it shows again. Okay guys. This is how you create and update a menu in WordPress website. I hope you like the video. Show your appreciation by hitting the like button and also leave your comments and subscribe to this channel unless you already have done it. In addition, you can press the bell icon so that every time we upload a new video, you get instantly notified. Okay then, until the next time, have a big on.